Yeah. From that, do do you get this? I guess you do with London City Mission, <laughs> don't you? Uh, um, do, do you feel a spirit of encouragement coming, or do you feel you want to uh, give them a good heavy word and I'm, tell them to get on with it? I'm wondering where you've got the spy cameras in the church. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, um, yeah, I I I'm actually in a place where I, I feel very frustrated in some of the work that I do. Um, I do feel sometimes I'm banging my head against a brick wall saying to people you know we need to reach out we need to reach out and actually what you said Julian spoke spoken to me actually just now you know what what's the focus what where are they what do they need mm -hmm. not what what do I want them to have mm. there's a danger when you're in full-time Christian ministry to sometimes think at least for me people need to be like me people mm -hmm. need to have the experiences I've had and then they'll see when they've been through my experience and I've met people like that. And, and there's some people who have um, salvation experiences where it's been, pow, it's hit them and they're saved and they're going for it and they think everybody mm. should be like them. Um, and I, I've, I've come to realize very slowly and very stubbornly um, that people don't need to be like me. But people where they are, again, where God has put them, God can gradually draw them out. Yeah. Um, take people like Frances, for example, again, a lady who is very shy. And still, she's shy in her own way, but she has gradually come into her own character, into her own place where God is giving her mm. ministry. And it's for people... And have you been able to encourage her to do yes. that? that? That's very much part yeah. of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I yes. mean, when, when you see somebody do something for the first time, like pray out loud or somebody yeah. share about what they're saying, um, you almost have to put a counselling face on. Never be shocked or surprised. You just listen and you go, yeah. that's good to hear, or I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that, yeah. or... Can, can I help or I want to empathize you know it, it's putting on a a listening heart and listening ear and and just drawing people out and saying you know you, you can do this it, it's not impossible why don't you give this a try uh, yeah. just uh, I've never asked her to knock on a door because I know that'd freak her out but I've said you know uh -huh. if you feel the opportunity and you want to share your testimony share your testimony mm -hmm. and from time to time she has and what she does she wears uh, cross earrings earrings little crosses and she'll just refer to them right and that's just a story for her yeah, so she's right. got a testimony she's got prepared right there. yeah and, and it's finding things around them that they can use and say hey we could use this yeah now although I say I was I was discouraged I'm a little frustrated with the church I was really happy to know that they've started their own prayer meeting without me initiating it. Mm. And I was so excited mm. by that. Um, and that's just showing development at their own stage. God, yeah. Be because th this whole thing of service, we, I mean, service does deepen. And, and, and as we go on and we walk with the Lord, service does deepen. Mm. But it's got to begin somewhere. And if after 40 years, 50 years on the road, I try and put where I am onto a one-year-old it's it's all wrong mm. but we've got to encourage them to start what yeah. what does it mean for them to mm -hmm. serve the lord yeah. not what does it mean for me to serve yeah, them sure. what does it mean for them and and i guess that's where our encouragement needs to come um and and it's important that we we see that but it is important that also as christians however old or young we are in the lord we do realize that God wants us to serve yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I, I'm going to have to open the phone lines in a minute, but before I do, I do want to get to grips with this phrase, which was the bane of my life <coughs> for many, many years, mm. where people would say, you've got to take up the cross daily. Doug, you need the cross mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and, 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 and all of it. What does it mean in Scripture, very practically, to take up your cross daily? I don't think it meant what Arthur Blessed did with it, when if you remember him carrying this literal life-size cross around the town. That may be, but what does it mean for the average mm. person? Julian, do you want to go first for okay, that? Okay, yeah. Well, well, I can only tell you what it means to me. I'm not That's a Bible, Bible scholar in that sense. That's fine. Um, so I'm not able to delve down deeply into, into what it means. But um, I just find it very interesting the whole passage is interesting actually it, that Jesus used these specific words take up your cross I mean it would have been more easy for us to swallow and understand why he said such a thing after the resurrection mm -hmm. but he said this before he even got to the cross 
Mm. So I mean, for me, it's a wonderful prophecy, yet, let alone anything else, because we know that even after the resurrection, the disciples were still struggling with the whole concept that Jesus was, was got to go to the cross and had to go through the resurrection. They, even then, they were still struggling with it, you know. So, so the fact that Jesus said this when he said it, I, th I just find really, really interesting. Mm. Um, so when I delved into that a little bit further, most Christians look at this and say, yeah, you've got to take up your cross, you've got to serve the Lord, mm. somehow, you know. Uh, but I, f I, I just looked into this and thought, well, it's more than that, actually. It's more than just serving the Lord somehow. Um, f and we know um, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10 says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in. Mm. God's got something for you to do, specifically. Yes. Yes. And I think this is what Jesus was alluding to here. Not just y you have to, yes, you have to die every day to yourself and gain to the Lord. And we know that. And, and I'm, I'm sure Dominic will get into that with you in a minute. But, but for me, <laughs> the, the Bible scholar, see, the proper Bible. We've got a proper Bible I scholar here today. Yeah, the Old Testament, <laughs> new. Yeah. Everywhere I go. <laughs> but, but for me, when Jesus says, take up your cross, what he was yeah. saying was, my cross is my destiny. Yes. That's what God, Father God has given me Needs to do, to. and I'm going to do it. Now then, for you, I'm going to give you, when you follow me, when you bow the knee to me, and when you bow the knee to Father God, he's going to give you something to do. It's going to be specific. Whatever it is, you have to do it. That's what I'm calling you to do. So it's very specific. It's not general. It's not fluffy. It's not somehow come and serve God. God will say, you will serve me in a very particular fashion. That's your cross. You will bear it. You will take it up. And you won't bear it alone. Later on, Jesus says, look, my burden is, is, is light. Uh, you, will you will bear it because it is light. Mm. But that, for me, that is the special thing that Jesus was saying. It wasn't just a service thing. A very specific okay. service for that individual. Okay, so just to unpack that and uh, mm -hmm. sort of highlight it, when it says take up your cross daily, it is not talking about a literal cross. No. It's talking for about... Some, for some it is. Some yes. do that now, but they, it, and it's very effective. But it is talking about where God is leading you, mm -hmm. what God has said for you to do, and you embracing and accepting mm -hmm. that whatever that means yeah. for you uh, from from that point of view that's that's good right and are you going to correct him <laughs> <laughs> i would never i'd never dream to because otherwise i'll get every uh, every moreland's lecture onto my back or, every, or, or my boss uh, you know i'll get yeah. the ceo ringing up saying don't you shouldn't have said that here's your pink slip have a nice day you know um yeah unemployed dominic yeah. no um, I, I, I agree with everything uh, J Julian says there. Um, actually, um, looking into this passage myself, looking at the whole uh, context where, you know, uh, Peter has just been trying to say, you know, Lord, you, will, you know, I'm not going to let you die, you know. Mm. But Jesus is saying, get behind me. You know, mm. you don't know what you're saying. You know, he, Jesus knew what he had to go through mm. to achieve the fulfillment of, the, of 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 glory to to get to the fulfillment of scripture um, to to achieve salvation. Um, with when he says, uh, "If anyone come after me, he must deny himself." Mm -hmm. Well, what does it mean by denying ourselves? What's mm -hmm. that? What what is in us that says, "Actually, I've got to look out for me." You know, mm -hmm. um, I know I need to do the work of. Uh, LCM that they, they've given me. I know I need to go to St. Giles each morning, look at the my, my door to door list or my where I'm going, whether it's you know a care home or a hospital, and visit people. Um, but when I'm at home, I suddenly think, well, actually, there's a lot of housework that needs to be done. That's just as equally good. Now, that in me is laziness, mm -hmm. actually. Although I'm working hard at home, I've, I've given in to that, that call. Uh, I've given up that call, saying, God, I don't want to do that today. I want to do this. And it's about saying, well, no, what, what is God actually saying? Yes. What is right for me to do? This, this other act of service, this housework, my wife will be happy, no doubt, but it doesn't serve God. It's, it's not actually what God has said to me to do. And I'm, I'm actually sinning against God by saying no to him and doing something else to try and make up for it. I'm denying myself and saying, well, God, this is what you've given me to do. This is the work of my hands. This is my cross. Mm. Um, and it doesn't have to be something huge, something mammoth. It doesn't have to be something small. It, it's what God has given us, what we've been saying all along. God has given us a specific 
cross to bear. He's given us a specific uh, difficulty to overcome, but that he has already overcome it. Mm. We just need to be seen through it.